Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Crypto and today I'm bringing a really really freaking long match. This was easily over an hour and a half, but in the VS recorder it was 30 minutes. Um, he has a rain team. Um, I don't like weather, but uh, you know, you gotta deal with it. It's perfectly fine. I just don't like using it because I find it really cheap. It just ruins the fun of the game. Uh... I'm just gonna start off right here. This Vaporeon was the bane of my existence. Um, I I could not. I had nothing on my team to kill it, and it is rest hydration. This is probably the keyest moment of the game. It lands a toxic on my Whimsicott, which is very unfortunate. So the only way I'm gonna kill it is him uh, getting encored into rest, me going to Haxorus and setting up. But uh, that's gonna come in play later, as you will see. Um, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna. He's gonna switch out. Uh, because he can't really do anything to me. I can do, go to Heatran and such. But I uh, go for Leech Seed just because I want Whimsicott at a reasonable amount of health. And uh, I want Vaporeon a little bit damaged uh, just for in case substance. I don't know. Uh, in comes Dragonite, which actually works even more perfectly because Mar 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 uh, uh, Multi Scale is now broken. So I now g can go to Heatran and uh, scout out. An obvious Hurricane is obvious. So, um,. I was expecting to be Specs, but it is Life Orb, which is kind of working out in my favor because it's not going to be able to hit things as hard, but then it's not really because he can switch up moves. I go for Stealth Rocks, predicting him to overpredict, and uh, he does do that. So um, I know he's definitely carrying either the Surf or the Superpower, um, and either one would be fatal to Heatran, but I predict him to overpredict again. Oh, no, 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 that's the next turn, never mind. Um, I predict him to switch out. Or go for the superpower, and I go into Cresselia because I resist. I could have gone to Burn Guru, but uh, I don't want to quite send that thing in case this Politoed came in because I can't do anything to it. He Ice Beams, that does a lot of damage to a special defensive uh, Cresselia, so I'm going to Thunder Wave it, and uh, knowing it, it is now Choice Spexed, uh, knowing that anything on my team will basically be able to outspeed it. I predict him to switch out here because he can't really touch my Cresselia, and most Cresselias carry the Moonlight. Mine doesn't, unfortunately, but uh, Lunar Dance is what I prefer over the Moonlight. Uh, I switch out to Burn Guru now, hoping that I won't get Freeze Axe, and it doesn't, so that's awesome. Um, so now I predict him to switch out. Because he can't touch me, and I'm gonna go to Whimsicott as he goes into Notori. And uh, let me tell you, this Notori was actually not that big of a threat to my team. Um, the only real problem I had with it is, was if this was the last thing standing, and my Whimsicott was my last Pokemon, because I would eventually die to Toxic, and I can't touch it. He sets up his rocks mid game, might as well set it up. Now or ne now the never you know mid game is pretty good so I'm gonna set up substitute because uh, tornadus outspeeds me and all that good jazz so I gotta make sure that I am safely behind the substitute and comes a porion and this is the point where things kick up oh my god this stupid thing he he's a staller man like stop ruining the fun of the game and just bring six freaking sweepers. He ice beams here, and I sh this is huge. Uh, I wasn't thinking at the moment. Um, I was, I, I wasn't. I should have gone to Whimsicott, predicting the rest, and then encoring him into it. Go to Landorus or Hax, or set up a substitute or a Dragon Ants, and then just keep setting up until he decides to switch out or such and such. But now I put him myself into such a big predicament here. That is a, a highly unfortunate. So I predict the Toxic here, and I go to Whimsic, or uh, go to Burn Guru. Because I don't want Cresselia quite toxic because uh, this thing can scald me and do a lot of damage. But this thing cannot hurt Burn Guru at all because um, I can recover. So I predict the switch and I go into Cresselia now predicting the thunderous switch. And I'm like, well, I don't quite want to take a hit. I was I was uh, thinking of firing a thunder wave at it, but uh, he would obviously kill me at that point. Uh, I get confused, he's life orb, that's pretty cool. He misses focus blast, I snap out of confusion, I hit lava plume, and I get the burn. Uh, I calculate that, and that is a 4.962% chance of happening. That is actually very fortunate. Uh, I could have gone for protect there, but I didn't want to risk me getting confused and get hanging by focus blast on like a jazz, because Heatran is actually the only counter I got to a uh, sizer. Um... 
I knew Hurricane wouldn't kill me, I know Life Orb and Burn would easily destroy it, so why not just go for the safe recover and uh, be at a reasonable amount of health besides being at a low 20 HP and not being able to recover later. So in comes Odin now, um, freaking Dragon Tails thing, and I go to Heatran uh, because I uh, I don't want Burn Gru's toxic damage adding up and I can't really touch it. So I go for Protect, see what it does. It's got Surf, which confirms it doesn't have superpower and probably going to have the... Uh, I don't freaking know. Uh, forget it. I Lava Plume because I want to get a burn on the thing because I'm predicting him to overpredict. And, uh, yeah, we like good jazz. Notori going to come in. That is a beautiful, beautiful, makes me look so beautiful there. Uh, Landorus, Leech Seed, that is not good because this Landorus is made to substitute and take on the Thunder, Tornadus, excuse me. So I can't take on the Tornadus when uh, Leech Seed's eventually going to kill me. So I go to Haxorus now, predicting, uh, I don't freaking know, Thunder Wave. But I got the uh, Lumberry on this thing, so it's all good in the hood. Um, it comes out, and I don't know what he was predicting here. Uh, maybe the Earthquake or the Brick Break. But uh, I, I'm going to go for a safe Dragon Ants because he can't really touch me. Leech Seed, no, fine. It's not going to really kill me. Dragon Claw, goodbye, freaking Odin. Um, down goes Org and his uh, purpleness. Uh... Or greenness, I should say. Income size or not, I don't want to get nailed in the face with a bullet punch. I don't see leftovers, I don't see life orbs, so that confirms that it is Choice Bandit. Judging by how much that did to a times negative 4 re resistant. So I'm uh, predicting the switcher to Vaporeon. I'm going to go to Cresselia. This is my last one and only chance to pull this piece of crap off. Um... <laughs> Wait, no, that's later on the match. Ah, oh, God, I should watch my recordings more. Uh, he Ice Beams, this is my one chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was predicting him to go for Toxic, trying to land a Toxic on Cresselia. But unfortunately, he either predicted my Whimsicott or gone for Ice Beam. Uh, which is actually huge, because now I have no way in hell in killing this Vaporeon without a crit, special defense drop, packs, I don't know, PP stall. That was going on in my mind right now. Brunger is the one thing that uh, Vaporeon cannot touch, because it is already toxic, and I can switch in and out between it and pokes. But eventually, that's not going to work, unless he runs out of PP. Um, so i I, I, I got to think of something fast. Um, my best bet is to go into Cresselia. Bait an attack, go for Lunar Dance, go into Hacks, or somehow live an Ice Beam, and get a, like a two, I don't, I don't freaking know, like a 50 crit Dragon Claw. Um, so same thing over here, I'm just protecting Earth Powering. I Earth Powered here just to gaze how much that did, and it does absolutely nothing. That's like a tenth tops. Uh, protect here, uh, just to get more leftovers so I can switch in and out. Possibly take a scald. Um, I'm not sure because this is max special defense heat train. I'm not. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, ice beam, so I can come in and recover again. So uh, heat train doesn't have to take scalds. I was freaking scald, so burn guru can get some HP. He ice beams again, and I recover. So uh, toxic damage is not going to be doing anything, and burn is going to be just at the point where it was before it uh, came in. Back in the heat it goes, and a beautiful prediction on his part here. He goes for the skull that's going to easily Oko my heat train after rocks, and that is not good because now one of my uh, stallers are gone. Protect would have been huge. Lunar Dance here because, uh, like I said, this is my one freaking opportunity to bring in the Haxorus and pray to God that Dragon Claw kills it. So I, I calc this thing, and uh, I calc it at max defense. So, uh,. The max damage is going to be 111, so I need to land two hits immediately, bearing that I get two critical hits in a row, or something funky happens, and I gotta live a nice beam. I'm predicting he's going to go for, I, I'm praying he goes for Toxic here, and I got Lumberry to wear it off. Ice Beam here, holy mother of all nature, I live at 58, that is huge, because I'm predicting rest here, but if I predict wrong, I lose, but if I... Don't do this move, I lose anyway. So I go for Dragon that's predicting rest because he doesn't want to be at such a low point where Landers can come to finish it off. That is freaking huge. That's going to be the game right there. Like, that misplay by him. I would have just gone for the a uh, the safe freaking Ice Beam because Dragon Claw wouldn't have killed me anyways. Maybe it was Barn I don't know. Uh, Dragon Claw is going to... Not quite finish it off. I calculated after the match. Definitely not would have finished it off. Uh, 
but uh, it doesn't really matter because I could have brought in Landorus and Earth Powered and killed it because it would have been such a low range that Earth Power would have killed it. Income Sizer now, and uh, I'm going to go for Earthquake. Uh, he doesn't go for Bullet Punch, ironically, but uh, he's probably predicting my Jellicent to come in so Pursuit can uh, be super effective and all that good jazz. But, uh, no, that's, that's not going to be good for him. Uh, his last is Notori and the Sizer. Uh, Earth Power uh, destroys a Sizer, and a Focus Blast is going to hit, actually, for the first time in my lifetime. And uh, Notori's going to die. So that was a beautiful match. Hopefully you guys... Oh, he goes for Protect just to stall out the match even more. That's that's even better. You know, that works just as fine. But, uh... I thank you for your time, Pokemon Pit. I know I, I started a lot during the battle. It was going by so fast. Um, but hey, uh, it was an entertaining match. It was probably the most fun I had in a while. Uh, boring, I missed that Focus Blast. Things would have been bad, but I probably could have gone to Jellicent, hypothetically, and uh, surfed the thing till it died. And he could, I don't you know what, just forget it. It's a good thing I hit Focus Blast, alright? Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later. Um, deuces.